the next new feature uh, in ABAP 7.4 is the new operator. So the new operator can be used for tables, that is internal tables, and also it can be used for the classes. So we'll we'll divide this into two parts. First, we'll discuss about the tables, and uh, and then we'll discuss about the classes. Okay, let's let's write our syntaxes. Uh, it will be twenty one, and I will make it as new new operator for tables internal internal tables and structures. So it will, I'll make it as I twenty one point one. So what uh, what is new new syntax? So this is same like uh, value. Okay, so when we write the code, I'll show you it is same like value, but in value we have the type actual type, but in new it will be the reference. So, um, so when when we'll see the code, probably you'll realize better. So when you use a new to create a internal table entries, you get the data reference back, uh, and whereas in the value operator we get the data reference assigned to the variable on the left hand side. Okay. On, and also when using the new the variable on the receiving side would be uh, data reference type ref to data so we have to define the type as type ref to data uh, whereas using the value operator the variables on the receiving side would be actual typed variables so what does that mean so let me show you with this quick uh, programming so let's let's uh, define a type uh, same so we'll use the same data begin of uh, typo our favorite we'll use the ebln type ebln then we'll use lifner type lifner and we'll use the risk our favorite flag and then end of ty so i'll i'll sincerely suggest you to look into this code and then type into your system and check it so that's how you learn if you just listen to the video probably you will not gain much you have to practice and then so how does the new operator will look like so the new operator will look like say we have a uh, we have a structure say so we'll use a structure we'll use the new we'll use hash hash and then I'll, so for the structure you will have one entry so we know the we should be knowing the type of the uh, fields of the structure so it will be say e b e l n is equal to say four five any number and then i'll give lifner is equal to i'll give say vendor vendor 13 say and then i'll say risk equals to yes there is a risk all right so if i do uh, it's already error uh, I know why because ls tab is unknown. So the f the fundamentals that whenever there is a hash, then the structure has to be defined by the left hand side. Okay, and when there is no hash, then it has to be the actual type. All right. So since ls uh, left hand side is not defined, so let us define the type. So and here you will see the difference. So I'll say ls tab type say ty po. So will this work? It will not work so what is the problem here so if you see here unexpected operators it doesn't recognize new because ls type if you use this ls type type po then you have to use a value operator not a new for new you have to have the reference all right so that's the difference for new you have to have the reference so let's make you have to refer to um, refer to typo Okay, vendor. This should be in quotes. Now see, once we instead of type typo, we said type ref to typo. Now this is active. So if you want to display the data, if you want to display the data, so we'll use that uh, class which SCP has provided. So if I use this. I can use the 
use it to display but you'll see some difference here so i'll use it say ls tag i want to display ls tag i'll activate it and i'll test it check the output the output says it is just reference so ls type the output is reference so this is not what you wanted you wanted to see some data so in order to see some data you have to give arrow and then i want to see the everything okay i'll say arrow tab everything so let's activate it and let's check how the output looks like here you go so the ls type arrow greater than and star it gives the whole actual data because it is pointing to the uh, uh, reference okay so this is the beauty now if i want to show only one field instead of star you have to say eb uh, sorry you have to say star then ebln so this is still good so in this case only the pu number will be shown check here it's the pu number 1452 did we give 1452 yes we gave 1452 so that's the pu number so this we saw with the hash so whenever there is a hash that means uh, the left hand side defines the structure so say you don't want to uh, do from left hand side so in that case you have to have a uh, something here the type over here so we can write the same code say let's comment this part and then I'll, I'll 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 copy the code and then do some changes say so what i'll do i'll i'll prepare another data type at runtime so this and instead of new hash i'll say new of type po so in this case since we do not have a hash so this typo dictates the structure for this new variable or the what is called this is a structure so here so what sap will do internally data ls tab t2 this will define a type ref to typ where where is the type ref to pip it is here so so we don't need to write one extra line of code instead we just say new and we give the actual type which we want so sap will do the reference by itself so this is the second way let me activate it so it's correct now let me test it so the second tab 2 works exactly like first one uh, and that shows the difference that when you want hash to be used then this has to be defined as type ref2 the typo and when you use new without hash you have to give the actual type and then this will be defined sp will automatically define it as type ref2 this guy and always remember that when you use a new operator you cannot use the um, reference directly you have to use arrow star to get the or read the data or print the data like the structures we have to do the similar thing for internal tables so let's let's um, define one table type first so we'll define a um, types tt say po type um, table of typo and it is important with default key okay then we need to define a data we need to define a data say i tab then you have to say type ref to tt pure so here always remember you have to give the type ref to all right now you can do now you can play you can do prepare a table just like this say i'll just copy this and i'll say i tab i tab is going to new and i'll just remove this i blend this 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 and then i'll give say couple of lines more and this has to be in bracket just like in uh, values we have to have the same thing so as discussed the difference between value and new is value has the actual data and new has the reference okay so these are the entries so i'll just increase it to 44 46 and 13 23 and 33 and then there is no risk here so 
so you see that i tab type new so a new hash hash means then it will have take the type of i tab and what is i tab i tab is ref to ttpo and what is ttpo ttpo of type this so ebln vendor and and risk all right so this should work let me activate it it worked and then let's just display it so displaying is same with reference so it is i tab oh look how where did this importing come from i tab and then activate and let's test it so you get the correct display so we had entered three values with the no risk in the middle the same let's validate it see this one is getting displayed so this this syntax worked perfectly new with hash now let's check how we can do it without the new hash or new pound so we'll do it with new typ so just like this one it was done for the uh, structure we'll do it for the internet table let's, let's comment this this part of ours okay so i'll just comment uh, for clarity and then i'll add i'll just add this guy and i'll just uncomment it so instead of typo so typo is a structure so we need to give a table type if you want a table type ty tt po so this ttpo and then we'll define a table say i tab 2 all right and in i tab 2 we'll give the same values let's let's give the same values here so here I'll just uncomment this guys and then here I'll uncomment this guy and the I tab 2. Let's activate this. So what we did instead of new pound we'll use new table type and then this will the I tab 2 will be created as the reference to TTPO. So it will be ref to TTPO and then here we'll display the data. Let's activate this and test it. So check this out. So I tab 2 uh, also works as expected so the syntax is with new without the pound so in this case what will happen the right hand side dictates what the structure of this i type 2 will be so and but if it is pound there then the left hand side dictates is all right the last thing which i want to cover in table uh, in new operators for internet table is uh, looping through two different tables so these are all hard coded but in real projects we need to loop through multiple tables so I'll, I'll show you how we can do for two tables and then you can do it for as many tables you want so first for that let us prepare two tables let's select from header and item okay select ebln ebln uh, ebelp uh, netwr and we'll do a case for our risk when metwr is greater than say 11 then it is x else it will be blank and then and as what do you what do you need as risk and then we get matner and then it works uh, anything you want up to say i get tangos goes from ekpo into table let's create a dynamic inline data into a live item okay so this is correct all right no error i'll just save it and now we'll also select some data data from the header as you will select ebln lifner from um and we'll do up to 10 rows from ekpo into table we'll do discoverable data alive head okay this also looks good no syntax error oh, we have up to 10 rows we have syntax error there now now what we'll do uh, we will I'll, I'll just delete these guys okay no i'll not delete you need it for reference so what we'll do is we will read through header and item and then populate it in a uh, table which will be prepared at runtime using a new 
new operator so what we'll do data say i'll, I'll give it a name dynamic item so and equal to since i am using it data at runtime so i have to use new without hash so i have to give a proper table type so ttpo so i'm using ttpo which we defined earlier this guy ttpo type of typo so ttpo type of ptpo and then we'll give it and then and so if you want to enter data so data has to be entered within a um, brackets okay or uh, in in this um, curve brackets and then we want to loop through data so what do we want to loop through we'll say for ls head um, in li head so a work area ls head is gen declared at runtime for li head and then what you'll do so it will go to for ls item i'll just load this ls item in ls head so li item uh, where this is important where ebln equal to the header ebln and we can give other cases also also we'll say and this equal to say x, x so wherever the po is from same po as the header and the risk is very high or x we want to show those po's so ebln um, equal to it will come from ls header or item because it is same so i'll give head ebln um, then lifner has to come from or I'll just put it bottom here. Lifner has to come from ls head because it is the header field, but risk has to come from item, right? Item sk. So see, it's all clear. Now we'll just display the output. So I'll just copy this guy and then display the output. And output is it is type dy and this way i i tap so it's all clear activate and then let's test it here's the output so it's reading from the header uh, putting the header ebln and lifner and putting the item risk so so this value is from header this place of item and this uh, so this is also header and this is from item and this one is for loop for for header and for item where header matches the or where item matches the header PO and where risk is X. So here we used with new without hash. So you can also do it with new with hash um, in which case this type has to be defined over on the top. Okay, I'm not covering that. You can do it as an, as an example exercise. All right, as a homework. So, so hope you understand the difference between the new and the value operator. Uh, both of them uh, look more or less look like the same thing but there is a subtle difference that is uh, when you use new to create the item entries you get the data reference back okay whereas when you use the value operator you get the re data reference assigned to the variables on the left hand side so you get the data you don't get just the reference and also when you use the new the variable on the receiving side would be data reference type ref2 data okay Whereas using the value operator, the variables on the receiving side would be actual typed variables. So that's the two important differences. Uh, hope, hope that is clear for you.